Hi, I'm Marty Nimco. This I'm calling Baby Steps to Getting Rich Enough. Quote, Compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. Who said that? Albert Einstein. Imagine you invested just 100 bucks a week in a conservative investment like the many CDs that yield 5% a year. Thanks to the miracle of compound interest, that is, getting interest on the interest, in 20 years, it'll be worth $172,000. And 100 bucks a week is something that many people can afford. But why not spend? After all, many people say, life's short, eat dessert first. Well, first off, prioritizing investing over spending gives you the shallow pleasure of seeing your account magically rise without you lifting a finger. More substantively, you get increased security and maybe get to choose a career or an individual job that you'd like more than a more remunerative one. To avoid getting sucked into America's spending culture, which gets people addicted to stuff, and like drug addiction, soon you need an ever bigger dose to get shoppers high. I'm not saying not to buy, just, especially with big ticket items, be sure you'll derive large enough increase in your gross personal happiness. Possible examples? Replace your clunker with a reliable car, or invest in yourself, get a career-boosting tutor, take a low-cost course, or go to a professional conference. Here are some thoughts on big-ticket items that might not be worth it. Many middle-class parents who live in urban areas feel they must spring for private school, higher standards, less violence. Both are true, but it's far from clear whether it's worth a typical $50,000 a year sticker price. That's $600,000 from kindergarten through high school for just one child. And per the classic Coleman report and more recent research that actually came out of Berkeley, there's little evidence that choice of school makes much difference in the outcome for the student. The case for saving on education is also true of colleges. If your college can get into a Harvard or Stanford, despite their DEI centricity, your child should probably go. Otherwise, the smart money is on starting at a low or no-cost community college, where the teaching is, perhaps surprisingly, better than at designer label universities. And you can usually transfer to a more prestigious college to get that diploma, that brand name on your diploma, than you could have gotten into as a freshman. On housing, any decrement in safety in neighbors between a white and a blue-collar neighborhood is usually, in fact, small, but the cost difference is often huge. Instead of a Luxmobile, buy a few-year-old reliable car like a Toyota or a Subaru and keep it until it's unreliable. Over your lifetime, that'll save you hundreds of thousands of dollars. Invest the savings in all that and let the compounding work its miracle. But how should you invest? Most people should first fully fund their retirement account, whether a 401k or an IRA, with those you pay no tax until you retired and in a lower bracket. <coughs> I'm not a licensed financial advisor, but many of them would agree that after establishing a few months emergency fund in a checking or money market account, you could do far worse than to invest in the Vanguard all-in-one fund that matches your risk tolerance from aggressive to conservative. Well, in any event, I hope this world's shortest course on money is long on benefit to you. In any event, I'm calling that uh, baby steps to getting rich enough. As usual, I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. And certainly would welcome you checking out any of my 30 books. They're all available on Amazon. The one probably most relevant to this might be my book Baby Steps or How to Do Life or Secrets. No, not Secrets. Anyway, Baby Steps or, I mean, yeah, Baby Steps or How to Do Life. Uh, just go to Amazon, search on Marty Nemco, N-E-M-K-O, and you will find more than you can stomach. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.